In sales, it's essential that the prospects that we work with believe that we can solve their problem and are happy to believe that we're the right company to work with and put their trust in us. In this video, I'm gonna show you some tips on what you can do to help your prospects build belief in your company and your service and what you do so that you can move them through the sales funnel and onto becoming customers that can work and help your business move forward. Let's take a look at the video. Within presentations and activities that I do, I always talk to the people I work with about five key words of sales. And I've talked in a previous video last week around how important trust is. But building belief that your solution is a right, credible solution for your prospect is also really important when it comes to winning new business. So let's look at a few different ideas that you can use to build belief in what you do so that you can help convince them that you're the right company to work with. The first thing about belief is to think about something that was key when we were children, and it's the same when we're adults working in a business environment. And that's tell the truth. The reality is, and I've always said this in sales, one lie makes all your other truths unimaginable. And so the fact is, if people don't actually believe that you're telling the truth, or find out afterwards that you've told them something that wasn't true, it puts everything else in doubt. Tell the truth, the reality is, there is sometimes a way in which certain things will affect the decisions that a prospect makes, but you're better off to be honest and open about those elements, and more importantly, if it is a concern for the prospect, show how you can overcome that, than to tell a lie and then find that you've won business, but then it's been the wrong type of business that your prospect gets annoyed as a result of you doing something that would mislead them. Tell the truth, be honest. It makes such a big difference, and it's one of the key things that gets salespeople all over the world a bad reputation. And yet in this modern social media driven climate, you can't afford to be like that. Focus on telling the truth and it will help show your prospects that you can believe what you say. Point number two relates to knowledge and one of the challenges that so many salespeople have when it comes to engaging with new prospects. Salespeople get asked questions such as, can your service do this or can you do this? And the honest answer is most people tend to go, yeah, yeah, I think it can, I think it can. Whereas actually it's sometimes better off to say, do you know what, it's a great question, Paul. And being honest with you, I don't know the answer, but I'm gonna make sure I take that down and come back to you so I can give you the real assurance of what we can and can't do. Of course, if your prospect continues to ask you questions and you don't know any of the answers, then you are gonna have an issue with knowledge, and knowledge is certainly something that prospects look for when they're looking to buy a service or solution from someone. And in that case, you've gotta to work to build your knowledge so that you can feel more comfortable about the service that you offer. But there's nothing wrong in being able to say, hey, that's a great question and I don't know the answer and I really don't want to mislead you so I'm going to go and take it down and come back to you. And providing you do do that, take the note down of the question and come back and then give the prospect the answer, it's a much better way of building belief in you and it also helps build trust that you said something and then did the same thing. Third point is to listen to the prospect and actually repeat some of the words and activities that they've told you. One of the key things I talk to people a lot about in sales is how we can sometimes mirror the actions of the people we're working with in order to build belief and understanding who we are and trust in a mutual relationship. And sometimes if a prospect says to you, for example, the word customer, then use that same word with them. If they say the word client, use the word client. Being able to rephrase and go back to your prospect and use the words and the phrases that they use helps not only show that you've listened to them effectively, but it also shows you're on the same wavelength as them. It helps them believe that you together can achieve something and that you have a partnership that could work. Use the language of the other person and it's gonna be a key way of helping you get them to believe that you really understood them and can work with them and deliver a solution for them. Point number four, and a great way to show your prospect that, you, that they can believe in you, is to be genuine and passionate about what it is you do. People say to me when they talk to me, they say, James, you just exude passion, and it's true. When I'm talking to people that I wanna help, I generally do, I really care about helping them get better results. My greatest feelings when I'm, as a sales mentor come from when my clients say, I've achieved something as a result of that. And I can't help but be happy and pleased about that and share that with other people that I work with. It looks genuine because it is genuine, it is real, it's how I feel. And if you can show that you're genuine and passionate and really care about the prospect that you're working with and that your solution you really believe can help and solve a problem for them, then that will come across in the way you engage. Of course, you have to, be, you have to temper that slightly and not go over the top, 
but showing passion and showing that you really care and that you really are a genuine person is a great way to build belief in your company and you and to make the prospect want to work with you. Point number five and the final point is to show proof that you did what you said you would. Been able to deliver testimonials, been able to deliver examples, been able to put your current customers in contact with your prospects, been able to show your prospect that all of these things that you're promising here are really true and that can be delivered here by giving proof and evidence of those elements that they can see for themselves in an independent way is another great way of getting them to believe, yes, you are the right person to work with. So if you can show your prospects that you really have delivered on what you said you have, and you can show them that they can get the result that they want to by buying your service, it's gonna make a massive difference in helping them believe in you and helping them sign on the dotted line and work with you. So there are my five thoughts on how you can show your prospects that you're someone and a company that can be believed in. If that prospect does believe that you're the right person to work with and they then trust you to make it happen, it's gonna be a massive factor in helping them say yes and moving things forward and getting the business signed up. Take these actions and use them in your day-to-day -day sales activity and I can assure you it's gonna help you get better results and make sure that you turn more prospects into customers and get your business where you want it to be. My name is James White and I'm the UK's leading prospect conversion expert. Thanks for watching the video and I hope it's been useful and giving you some insights on how you can get better sales results. If you have any comments, please leave them in the section below. Or if you want to be able to ask me a question, reach out on social media or even at my website. Search me at James White Sales anywhere on Twitter, Facebook or LinkedIn and I'll be happy to ask, answer any questions you've got about sales and make sure that you get the results that you want.